Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com and the Big Four Accounting Firms YouTube channel. Before we get started, just wanted to remind everybody to support us if you have a chance or if you can. Even a dollar helps. And we have a link in the description to a website called Buy Me a Coffee. It's just a way to donate to us and support us. Again, any amount is helpful so that we can keep putting out content. And there's also other ways for you to support us in the show notes to this podcast or on YouTube in the description. In today's podcast, we're going to be discussing some more news about KPMG's pay cut. The Australian Financial Review wrote another article saying that KPMG is going to repay another portion of their 20% staff pay cut. And the numbers here get a little bit weird because it's percentages of percentage points. And you might remember there's a 20% pay cut, but it wasn't for the whole year. It was for a certain time period. And then the KPMG repaid a portion of it. And so once they repaid it, it was down, their annual pay was actually down 5.6%. And now with this additional repayment, their pay is only down 3.9% for the whole year. And the previous repayment was about 1.1% of their total pay. And this comes after Deloitte had already repaid the entire pandemic pay cut to staff in Australia. And as we saw recently, we went over BDO's results and BDO's global results were very good. And the big four accounting firms in Australia were actually exceptionally good. So they stuck their foot in their own mouth and all their prediction machines were incorrect when they predicted tons of doom and gloom, but there were layoffs. So that's the other thing is they did every measure in the book. They laid people off, they cut their pay, and now they're repaying their pay and they're competing against each other to see who can repay their employees the fastest because now they see that the economy's actually not as bad as they thought and they're still competitive. They have to compete for clients. They have to compete for audit clients, for consulting clients, and they have to repay people to keep them because if the big four accounting firms are all still growing in Australia and Asia Pacific and they don't have enough staff, then they're not going to make all this money that's available to be made. Because as we've said through this whole thing, the capital markets are still doing very well. So these global companies are taking advantage of this moment. There's things out there like ES and G requirements and... You know, this whole thing about the global reset going on, which is mainly focusing on huge global companies taking advantage of this COVID-19 pandemic where small businesses are struggling and they're growing bigger and bigger. And also governments have more restrictions, more regulations. They have unemployment measures and they're using the big four accounting firms to assist them. The large global companies will need consultants to help with projects and governments will need consultants to help with implementing huge unemployment systems as people lose their jobs. And the big four accounting firms saw the doom and gloom coming, but they did not see all of the opportunities for the largest companies in the world coming. And that's exactly who's doing the best right now. It's the largest companies in the world. And who do the big four accounting firms sell all their services to? The largest companies in the world, because they're the only ones that can pay hundreds of dollars per hour which is the big four accounting firms rates. They're the only ones that can afford that. So this is actually an excellent time for the big four accounting firms. It's still an excellent time to work there. It might be more difficult to get a job because even though they're repaying employees, you still have to remember that they laid people off, that they're lowering the amount of people they hire. They're still going to be hiring people because younger people are cheaper labor, but it's going to be a little bit less because they were super doom and gloom during COVID-19 and COVID-19 is still ongoing. So it's not going to be a rapid recovery, especially as more countries and more locations go into lockdown. So that's the update for today. So stay up to date on all the latest news. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast. Support us financially if you can through the Buy Me A Coffee link in the show notes to this podcast. And if you can't do that, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video on YouTube. Thanks for listening.